My purpose of speaking to you today is to inform you about the benefits we have that music and playing of music has had on individuals in the business world as well as in the world of student academia. Music from Leanne Ryan to the Golden Classic Oldies of American Graffiti. Through a lifetime love of music, I've come to educate myself on all different genres of music. Come to educate myself even further by playing various instruments. I would like to take just a few moments and let you know what I feel are some of the significant benefits of listening to music and learning to play music on. Because of there are so many diverse cultures in the world today, so many different types of unique people making up what we call society today, music has a profound effect on all of us. With all this diversity of these cultures and people found in this melting pot of what we call the land of the free, music has shown beneficial effects on all of us, notably those found in the business and academic world. According to an article first printed in the Sunday edition of the New York Times and written by Joanne Littman, Condoleezza Rice trained to be a concert piano. Alan Greenspan, former chairman of the Federal Reserve, was a professional clarinet and saxophone player. The hedge fund billionaire, Bruce Coleman, is a piano who took classes at Julia. Also, those found at the top of the prospective industries who also played in Smith include Paul Allen, the billionaire co-founder of Microsoft, who played guitar, Woody Allen, clarinet, television broadcaster, Paul Todd, NBC chief White House correspondent, Chuck Todd. All these individuals attended college on music scholarships. There have been multiple studies which have linked the study of music to academic achievement. So what is it about serious music training that correlates with outside success in other fields? And why does this connection exist? Well, this connection exists in the business world and the academic world. As Paul Allen, the co-founder of Microsoft, stated that music reinforces your confidence in the ability to create. Mr. Pat stated that the connection between years of practice and competition fueled his drive for profession. Steve Hayden, a celloist, credits his most famous work the Apple 1984 commercial with his thinking of Stravinsky when he produced that idea. He also stated that cello performances taught him to work collaboratively, play well with others, and know when to solo and know when to follow. Now, in a further article, in a June 2019 article in Psychology Today, writer Christopher Berlin states in this article that students who participate in music-related activities between the 7th and 12th grades have significantly higher scores on science, math, and English exams in high school than non-musical classmates. The study involved 112,916 public school students in Canada. These findings were published in a journal of educational psychology. It has been found that students who learn to play musical instruments in elementary school and continue to play in high school not only scored significantly higher, were about one academic year ahead of their non-music peers concerning their English, mathematics, and science skills. These exam-based statistics were consistent across the board, regardless of socioeconomic background, gender, ethnicity, or prior learning in science, math, and English. It was found that multi-year engagement in music, mainly instrumental music, may benefit high school academic achievement. This study was the largest of its kind today. It was also shown that music learning in childhood might foster competencies that later support academic achievement. Often today, resources in many schools have been cut or are no longer available in the elementary and secondary schools. Cuts so that these schools can focus on math, science, and English. The fact is that music education and those that have multiple years of high quality instrumental learning and playing in a band or orchestra or singing a choir at an advanced level 
can be the things that prove overall academic achievement in an ideal way to have students learn more holistically with school. The latest findings on the academic benefits of music participation add to the growing body of evidence that even underfunded school programs relating to music may improve focus, motivation, and academic performance for kindergarten through 12th grade students. My intention with this presentation was to make you aware that music is one of the greatest known human needs in modern society today, and it has no harmful after effects and no side effects. Music is a way to express itself creatively. It refreshes people's minds, both mentally and spiritually. It leads to increased performance and success in the business field and in the area of academics. There is nothing like playing music to train and discipline yourself. And if it is at work that hard enough, it does get better. I hope this has been shown how music has aided and directed many influential members of today's society. It is unfortunate, however, that the qualities found in the personality mentioned, the qualities of collaboration, creativity, discipline, and the reconciliation of conflicting ideas are qualities we are losing from the public school systems of today. And you know, in some instances, people have lost them from their personal life in general 